Welcome back to the Make of the Madness YouTube channel. This is Jonathan here to break down the news as Brandon Murray has decided he is going to be a Georgetown Hoya. Uh, the ex-LSU guard is taking his talents uh, to Washington, D.C. He's going to play for Georgetown. This is certainly a big get for Patrick Ewing and the Hoyas. This is you know, fam infamously a very terrible season for the Hoyas. Uh, did not win a single conference game and. You know, there, there were many questions on, you know, whether Ewing was the proper guy for the job, whether, you know, he was able to even win. Uh, but now they they do add a very solid piece from the transfer portal, and that is certainly going to uh, help them uh, going forward. You know, this is still roster a lot in flux, uh, certainly, you know, not a whole lot set. Like, you have pieces like Ryan Matumbo, uh, you know, Dante Harris that are there, but the still roster, you know, we'll see about Aminu Muhammad. Uh, we'll see about, you know, a few other guys uh, from last year's roster. But this is a roster that certainly, I think, needs a lot of new additions, needs some, you know, pieces from the transfer portal, needs the freshman class to, you know, really step up. And uh, certainly getting, you know, one of the best transfers in the transfer class uh, in Brandon Murray to come in, I mean, that's certainly going to be, you know, a good first step, and st still, there's a lot of room left to work with this Georgetown team. Uh, if they get a few more, you know, transfers this off season, maybe we're talking about them being, you know, potential NIT, you know, NCAA tournament, you know, caliber team. I still think there there's a lot of room to work with, but certainly the biggest thing is getting that first piece, and uh, that first piece is Brandon Murray, who you know is you know as a freshman. With LSU, was kind of you know a surprising player. He's a you know good guard. He's six five, has a good you know amount of length. Is a decent shooter. Can kind of you know run a little bit of point. Uh, not you know a true point guard, but there there were times he did you know take a little bit of a you know you know initiator role in the offense, uh, being the point. So uh, he's certainly a good guard and you know someone that you know a lot of people think will eventually develop into being, you know, a good, you know, two, three, four year player that's going to be, you know, a key player. And he was regarded as, you know, one of the top 10 to 15 transfers in the transfer portal this off season. And if you're able to get that guy, you're able to kind of develop uh, him with this fr freshman class, this now sophomore class that they have, uh, that's going to be, you know, something that's kind of a building block for Patrick Ewing and the Hoyas, and if, you know, he can kind of pan out very well for this team, we could be talking about Georgetown maybe next season. Maybe they're only in the NIT, but certainly that's better than losing every Big East game, and then, you know, maybe in two years uh, they're in the NCAA tournament. Like, that That could be the future for Georgetown, but uh, certainly this was a big addition for the Hoyas to start out the offseason. We'll see where else they go, but Thanks again for tuning in to Making the Madness on YouTube. Uh, we'll be back with more Transfer Breakdown. Stay tuned.